And at the end of the day, it's a frozen version of the Chicago's. You can't go wrong with the Chicago one, and you can't go wrong with one that has Michael Jordan's signature. Hey on guys, it. Tom Stefanik, resident YouTuber here. I'm just gonna pop in Zambrano. Um, <laughs> these things are poo. These are ugly. These okay, are so Tom, shoes. Tom just thinks they're poo. Cause Tom, do you have a pair? No, I don't have a okay, pair. Okay, so I, I can guarantee you, if Tom had a pair. Hey guys, welcome to the Hype Club channel. My name's Zachary, I'm the owner and CEO. We just opened our flagship store here in Soho, 285 Lafayette Street. You find tons of heat and sneakers and streetwear. And we got Zambrano right here. I'm Zambrano, I'm over here authenticating every single shoe, making sure every single shoe that leaves this store is 100% authentic, along with my boy Kev. I'm Kevin, I'm also the other authenticator and buyer at Hype Club. We make sure everything's down to the T. No undead stock, no tried on shoes, nothing, everything's brand new. Unless you're trying to sell us some pre-owned sneakers. But everything here is guaranteed authentic between me and him. We've been doing this for years, everything is good. And then let me introduce you to the OG. We got OG Alex, right Alex, here. we got the OG. I make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to around here. I make sure the kids and the guys all have fun at the right job, which of course they are doing. And every day is a lot of fun at Hype Club. Throughout the videos and stuff, you'll get to know us personally. Our objective with the channel is we just want to give you guys the inside. You know, we're all pretty young doing this and it's a lot of fun, so Zach, I had the great idea to open up a YouTube channel, and that's what the Hype Club channel is for. So these right here, these are the Spartan Ducks, basically the brother of the UNC dunks. These have flown up. Second in line to blow up is this one. It goes a lot with a lot of colors. It's a very fall color. You know, you can wear this throughout the winter. UNC blue, they really just stuck with it for the summer, you know. You got other UNC color based shoes. You got UNC fours, you know. Oh, these would have came out a few years ago, you know. They wouldn't be reselling. This would have sat at retail at Foot Lockers. So this is my favorite shoe right here. This is actually specifically my size, you know. We picked it up, you know. You can't go wrong with an all 54 Everybody wants them. It's one of the hottest shoes. Genuinely, even 2019, I mean 2020, my bad guys. 2020 when they released, it's still a hot shoe coming into the summer of 2021. You can't keep them all on the shelves. I mean, it's a really expensive shoe, but at the same time, in New York City, a lot of you know people want that high-end shoe. You know, they wear the, the, the designer Balenciagas, Dior's. This is kind of like that high-end fashion, you know, off-white collaboration. So, you know, so the people that don't want just buy red fours, they'll go for the off-white four. You know, really high-end designer-like sneaker. Okay, so right here we got some off-white five sales. The new colorway of the off-white fives. We got them here in a size nine. Along with the size nine, we have a size nine MoMA. These are a crazy shoe. We have them listed in the store at $6,000. Little background on this story. Basically, you had to line up at the MoMA here in New York City, and it actually started pouring rain. People were like just sitting there in their beach chairs as it's pouring rain on them because they wanted this specific shoe. So that why, $6,000. How you been a lot of y'all? Just so y'all know, we actually do this. This was the day of release. This was my boys. They was out there overnight. And you was got, out there you overnight. You got the socks right there. The socks came with them, everything. So if y'all add this all up, this is probably right now like 40,000 worth of shoes, bro. This is crazy. Just to think that you can make 40,000 just camping overnight. That's just mm -hmm. crazy. And how old were you, Kevin? It was two years ago. I was like 18, 17, 18, something like that. Yeah, guys. Don't get it twisted. Just because you see all these older guys, don't don't think you can't do it. I'm 19, he just turned 20, and he's 22, and we just opened up a store in Soho. So right here, we have the all-flight Air Force Ones, the Volt. This is one of my favorite colors. Actually, funny enough, when these first came out, these were doing terrible on the market. They were going from three to 450. Now these things, whatever size, they're $1,000, and anything above that, if you're like a crazy size 14, Good luck finding that for under a thousand. We got a brand new green lobster with the special box from Concepts. So now let me tell you a little story on these. These came out probably about two to three years ago. Please don't, don't hold me to that. 
But when these shoes first came out, they were going for like four to 500 now. This shoe is more of a $1,000 shoe. You sell it to the right clientele, it's a $1,500 shoe. Brand new pair of euros. So yeah, guys, we have it all. We have it from something, if you're trying to go something simple with the top A4s, all the way up to the euros. So come shop with us, 285 Lafayette Street. Open up from 12 to 6 on the weekdays, 12 to 7 on the weekends. Coming from a body's point of view, I, all that crazy heat stuff is cool and all, like the lobsters, the oaf weights is cool. But like from, from a body's point of view, it is way easier to make money just like these. These personally hold a deep story with me. This was like one of the first times I had over 200 pairs when I did a bot. And no, like Kev, the I don't investment. Know, I don't know, Kev. I'm making money you, off of this. There's nothing more fun than getting a brand new pair of these. Right. It's always nice to see these a brand are new cool, pair. Right? But how come on? How come many on. pairs can you actually get of these for retail? Like right, wait, 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 wait. Kev, Kev, tell me. These on average, easy. on average, how much do you make off that shoe? On average, what's your profit? Personally, I made sixty dollars per sixty dollars. You make three thousand dollars on the shoe if you sell it to the right here, clientele, you buy it, and you buy though. the right one. Don't listen but to this man. It's quantity over. Like, nah, no, nah, 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 nah. It's quality like, who over made quantity. More money? The, Qua I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Me personally, I saw the highs and I wanted it real bad, so I didn't buy it for resale until it bumped up crazy. So I paid thirty five hundred personally, and I, <laughs> I impulse bought these at twenty five hundred early, and now they're going for like thirteen hundred. So I had them about two to three weeks early. I wore them. It was for the cloud. I'm not gonna lie. It was for the cloud. So I spent an extra whole thousand dollars just to have it early and uh, we're grinding it right now, but it's all right. We still have a pair in store. So if y'all ever want to come check them out, check the details on that, the back. This shoe is just beautiful, man. The way it's built and the story behind it. Y'all seen the ad on Twitter when him and Hiroshi, which is the designer of Fragment, Travis and Hiroshi did an ad. This is nuts. So to continue with what Kevin and Brandon were just talking about, there's definitely specific sneakers in here that bring a lot of value to our store specifically versus what they would online. So stuff like Pandas, UNCs, uh, Hyper Royal Ones, like sneakers like that that we saw on a consistent basis, those are really like like hotcakes, like hot movers for us. So as you see over here, we have our little women's section. There's we have five rows right now. These are all women's sizes that start at four youth, go up to um, seven youth. And as you see, you know, we have foam runners, UNC fours, white Oreo fours, all like the classic Jordan ones, dunks, like all that stuff that women are looking for right now. So for us, really, that came to a surprise, it's like the need that really cater towards women. Because a lot of other stores, they really just focus solely in on catering towards men. But you would, you'd be shocked how many women come to the store every day and are coming in for Jordans or Dunks. And I think TikTok has helped a lot with that, getting a lot of those you know, women into the sneaker game. So that's really helped. Well, it's a, like, a little bit of advice for investment if you're looking to you know, buy and hold a sneaker or you know, you're looking to buy for your girl and wanting that to be a you know, solid investment. Definitely, I would recommend these on UNC because for men's sizes, these just continue to skyrocket. You're looking like four to 500. At grade school, like we're selling them for 380. That's a really good price point because the stock was so limited on these. So definitely, you know, you can buy these up right now at hypeclubnewyork.com 24 seven. And you know, you can buy these, you know, buy these for your girl or just hold them because UNCs are definitely gonna continue to go up. Cortland from Dallas. Um, I had to get my grails, the off-white Prestos. Um, I had to come here. He kind of, I wouldn't say he sold me on him, but he, he's a family man. It's my friend right here, man. He helped me. The OG, took, <laughs> he mailed the my OG took, took care of my new friend nothing here. Nothing crazy, tell you. nothing okay. crazy. Listen, um, big purchase, but it's awesome. Definitely come back to Hype Club. That's where you get your shoes from. So guys, like going to like more like the high-end sneakers as a little bit of advice here. You know, if you're looking to buy it like a dead stock sneaker, they definitely hold their value more so now than they did in the past. So if you're looking like here at Travis 6 Olive, we are on the price at 700, we have two sizes right now, available at highclubnewyork.com. You know, if you're to buy this sneaker, you know, wear it, you know, get some solid wear out of it. As long as you don't completely wreck the sneaker, let's say you don't jump in the pool. As long as you keep them clean, you know, looking nice, you're looking at, you know, you're getting back 90% of your money six months from now, and you'll still enjoy wearing them and having a high-end Travis 6. So definitely, I wouldn't shy away from the, like, the price point of sneakers like this, because at the same time, the dead stock prices continue to go up, and you get them, and you'll keep them in solid condition as long as you don't wreck them, you'll get most of your money back when you decide to sell them actually. They go 
for around four. How much would you pay? You can tell me, even if it's good. I would pay three fifty. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't buy it. Can you three eighty? Three eighty. It's a size. It's a brick size. Yeah, it's a terrible size handle. Trust me. Terrible size. I know. So guys, let me give you a little bit of a rundown of what's happening. He brought in these Sakai's. These, this is a shoe we would buy. When it comes to this shoe in particular, obviously everyone wants this. It's an all-white five. But problem is it's a size four. So now we have to take into consideration the amount of time that this shoe is gonna cost us in order to have the money sitting in it. Since it is a size four, it's gonna take a minute to sell. So now it's just based on how much is he willing to let them go for. All right, so you could do 380 and 560, right? All right, let's do it. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 920, 940. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. That's how you do it. So basically now what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and catalog it into our buyer's transaction. That way, if we ever need to go back and see how much we paid, when we bought it, who we bought it from, we're able to backtrack all of that. So just come back to us back here. These, these always tend to do well. A Sakai, usually on the hype market, it's a, it's a mid-tier shoe, but in a storefront, a Sakai always does well. I don't know what. I'm guessing a person that is more of a Nike runner, it gravitates towards them because it looks more of a runner shoe. And I mean, it speaks for itself. It's an off-white, it's a Jordan 5, and it's modeled after the fire red colorway. And anyone that knows Jordans knows that the fire red 5s, it's an OG color. So this isn't the best size, but at the end of the day, there's always someone that's willing to buy them, especially when it holds value like an off-white 5. In general, the sizes you wanna be buying is the sizes that your specific clientele needs. I know people that literally only sell toddler shoes. I would never be able to sell a toddler shoe in my life. I'm having difficulty selling an all five four, I mean an all five five in a size four. Usually, I would say if you're starting off, try to tend to an average size. I'd say anything from a seven to a 12 is fine. Anything from a seven to a 12, for the heaters, I try to stay away. Anything from a seven to an eight and a half, that's usually a terrible size in any heater. Anything from a nine and a half to from a nine up to about a 12, 13, sometimes even a 14. Sometimes a shoe like this, a size 14 could be going for double what a size 11 would be going for. So yeah, that's my advice to you guys. guys. It's always, it's different markets and different categories for every individual store. This is Ram. What Ram does here in the store is basically he's one of, he's Kevin's best friend. He just comes in when we're overloaded because like we said, guys, we're still trying to figure this stuff out. It's still day by day, but Ram's a part of the team. He comes in, he helps us out a lot. Another dream, another dream of a day at High Club, having fun selling sneakers. The nicest thing about working at High Club is that I meet to find, I, I get to meet people from all over the world that I never would have met otherwise. So I've met people from Turkey, Saudi Arabia, uh, we have quite a few people from South America, quite a few people from Mexico, quite a few people from Asia, Southeast Asia. So I've been speaking to people from all over the world, getting to know people. A lot of Israelis have been in the shop, which is fantastic. I've got a lot of history there. So I think if I was going to be asked what was the best part of my job, it's meeting people in the this, in this store. I just said to somebody, well, every day I come to work, we open up the door and I think, and I'm always shocked, shocked that anybody comes into the store. And right now we've got more than 300 people a day coming into the store. So it's been amazing. You know, we don't take anything for granted. We believe taking care of the customers. And it's no mystery. If you take care of the customers, they're gonna keep coming back. So did I think it was gonna happen? Down deep in my heart, I probably thought it was gonna happen, but I didn't really believe that it was gonna be this successful this quickly. And everybody that works here has a lot to do with it. Everybody cares a lot, it's a family. It's a great experience, and for a guy like me at my age, 
to be able to experience this, it's given me really a lot of youth in my life. I'm working better, I'm feeling better, and I'm excited about doing this every day. All right, guys, and that's the first episode here at Hype Club. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got to know us a little bit more. Maybe learned a little bit something from us. Yeah, maybe you learned a little bit something from this one, you know, always coming in late. Nah, never that. So guys, as, as this is our first video, we appreciate any engagement you guys can leave us. So if you can, you know, like this video, comment, you know, let's say your favorite sneaker in the comment section. We'd appreciate that. So yeah, we hope you guys stick with us. And we're gonna push out some crazy content ASAP. Take care, guys. Take All care. Right. Appreciate Take it. Take care. <laughs>